Okay guys, so we're gonna make two separate tutorials, one for arterial blood flow and one for venous blood flow and the blood vessels in that system. This tutorial is gonna look at all the veins in the body. We're gonna start right at the heart. That major conducting vein that we see is going to be the superior vena cava. The first bifurcation is going to isolate the brachiocephalic off the brachiocephalic, we have the largest of the jugulars. This is the internal jugular. We also have the external jugular. Continuing off the brachiocephalic, we're going to have our right subclavian. And again, if you were to go on the left side, you have your left subclavian. We're going to stay on the right. The right side, right subclavian, we're going to branch to go on the outermost aspect, which would be the right cephalic vein. The innermost aspect will be the basilic vein. And this little vein that you see right here that is cut, that's not shown in the model, will be your median vein. As we can continue down into the arm, we see this little branch right here. This is your median cubital vein. This is typically where we draw blood from. And we're going to continue venous flow, and we're going to move below the heart and look at everything down through the abdominal cavity and the legs. Everything that branches off the inferior vena cave is what we're going to look at now. The first vein that we see is going to be the hepatic vein. We're now going to look at the portal system. We have our portal vein. We're going to have our splenic vein. We're going to have our gastric vein. And we're going to have our superior and inferior mesenteric veins. The next branch that we see off of the inferior vena cava is going to be the right and left renal vein. As we continue down, we have our first major bifurcation. This is going to be our left and right common iliac vein. We're going to bifurcate again to the internal iliac vein, to the external iliac vein, and as we move over the femoral region of the leg, we, be go, we become our femoral vein and deep femoral vein. The innermost aspect will persist and continue as the great saphenous vein. On the outermost, we have the small saphenous vein. On the top part of the foot, we're going to have the dorsal venous arch.